today. It's so awesome to be here with you. So exciting. Happy New Year's. Isn't this wonderful? We are having a very snowy New Year's. In fact, I've had a very snowy Christmas. How are you doing wherever you are? I feel like there has been um, so many different um, weather systems in so many places that we're not used to. So welcome, welcome. So good to have you come. I want to encourage you all to turn off your phones, to make sure that your phone is on. Look, oh, look hard and you might see um, a dusting of snow, the storm going southeast. But I actually can't see any of you. You can see me, but I can't see you. So this is a webinar. So a webinar, we don't get to see each other. So um, if you want to send me a picture, Vicki, I'd love to see it. Okay, so today's webinar is the five vital steps to permanent weight loss. And I think this camera is not working very well. So I'm just gonna, excuse me for a moment, I'm just going to unplug it because it's not working. There we go, let me just start my video. <coughs> excuse me. All right, there we go. That's much better, okay. So, Welcome to five steps. So how we're going to do this uh, free training today, it's going to be about 40 minutes, 45 minutes or so the training. And then I'm going to talk to you about how you can accomplish these goals yourself and that you are able to um, learn how to lose the weight and keep it off permanently. And so I'll be talking about that. I can stay on for an hour and a half for the whole thing. So you can ask me all sorts of questions. Um, I've been happy to do that for you. Okay, so I am Dara Thomason. I am the weight loss for quilters and I have helped so many quilters learn how to lose the weight and keep it off. And it is such a privilege for me to do that. So you are in the right training if, oh, I wonder how I can do this. Um, Cause everything you're seeing is backwards, right? Um, hmm. That is probably not, is it backwards for you? Can anyone tell me? No, it's fine. Oh, good. This is backwards for me. Okay, no problem. You don't weigh what you want. So you feel like weight loss is a mystery never to be solved. You're like, I don't know what's happening. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. You're frustrated about weight loss. So if this is you, you're in the right place. You have gone up and down on the scale for so long. You're like, it's just the game that we play. I go up and then I go down and it never stays down. It always will go up, okay? You can't remember the last time you were your ideal weight. So some of you can, some of you can't, but this is just letting you know that you're in the right place. You can't, you are sick and tired of spending money and time and effort on weight loss. It's so frustrating to you. And you feel like you're, there's so many strikes against you. You're like, I have had menopause. I've lost so much weight in the past. And I've kept, I keep putting it back and on and on. I've yo-yoed for far too long. Hope is over for me. You feel like your DNA, your family history, you aren't able to, to ever, ever accomplish it, okay? And so a lot of you might even feel resigned that weight loss is even a possibility for you. So if this is you, you're in the right place. And I am so happy for you because even in today's training, you are going to be blown away by um, what I'm gonna teach you. And I also want you to know, so those of you who are, I see like my own clients, I've already, they're in my program, even being at this webinar, you are going to learn so much because I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you uh, the five vital steps in a different way than I've ever explained it before. And you're going to love this. Okay. So I do recommend, again, turn off your phones, turn off all the distractions. I, you will get the replay so you can take notes. And I encourage you to take notes of things that just like come to you quickly. And you want to just write that down, but don't get too um, focused on 
making sure you write all of this down, okay? You're gonna get the replay, it's gonna be fine. Um, I really just want you to be in your body and like paying attention with um, like real focus on, on me. And I also recommend having an inquisitive mind. So coming with, an, with real curiosity as you're learning this information, that's gonna help you so much. So just a little bit about my background. Also, I was an elementary school teacher for 10 years and I have five of my own children and I was a professional uh, quilter. I guess technically I still am. And I'm a book author. And so I do know a lot about learning. I know a lot about how the brain works as a life coach. And so this is such a perfect combination for me working with quilters. I myself have lost 50 pounds without counting calories or exercising. And I have been able to keep that weight off for over three years using all the tools that I have. And weight loss was always a struggle for me um, ever since I started, um, ever since I was 20. I, I started 21. I started having real struggles with weight loss. Okay. So thousands of quilters. I would say millions of quilters. I don't even know how many quilters there are out there. But they're staying confused about weight loss. We don't need to stay confused. You're doing too much of the wrong thing. And this is something we're going to talk about today is you're hunting for the solution. You're like Indiana Jones looking for all of the, you know, the lost treasures. You're like, I just got to find the right diet. Uh, Weight Watchers, Noom, Keto, South Beach, whatever that is. It's like, just get me the right diet. Just tell me what to do. All right. How many of you relate to this? Okay. I, I hear you. I used to be a hunter. I used to be hunting for the right solution. So you never become your own boss about weight loss. So you depend on diet. You depend on other people's authority. You, so we're going to talk about the typical phases. You, you're scattered or wrong focus. You do too much of the wrong thing. So you spend a lot of time and energy doing the wrong thing and not spending enough time doing the right things. And those of you who were at my 12 days of Christmas, we fail too little. We're quilters, not quitters. So when I say failing, failing means you're actively in the process of figuring something out. Quitting means you, you, just, you just give up. You're like, I'm never going to figure it out. Okay, we're not quitters, we're quilters. We even have the t-shirt. Okay, so this is a typical weight loss journey. And I'm really curious, and I want to see in the comments, how many of you relate to this? So you feel those are your big eyes, right? You look at the scale, finally you're like, okay, it's the beginning of the year. My pants are shrinking. I don't know what's happening. I probably should go on the scale. So you go on the scale and you're like, oh, I feel terrible about myself um, because that number is on the scale. So then you research like crazy. You're like, okay, I gotta find the right thing. I, is it Noom? Is it Weight Watchers? Is it South Beach? Is it Keto? Like, what are, the, what are other people doing? I should do what they're doing, right? So you research like crazy. You go on this hunt for the solution, right? And then you invest in the money in, in the program. So you invest, not only do you invest money, but you put yourself into it. You're like, okay, I'm gonna like print off all the sheets and I'm gonna buy all the containers and I'm gonna pre-package stuff and I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I'm buying all the chicken breasts and I'm gonna, you know, um, just like get all those salads ready and I'm, I'm gonna clean. And some of you even like go and you clean out everything in your house that's terrible, right? And you just go real full guns. Then you use a lot of deprivation. You use a lot of discipline and you use a lot of fear. Like, I better get this, this, this has gotta work. I've got to do this. And, and you, 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 you really give yourself a lot of negative self-talk. Who, who can relate to me? I want to hear it, right? And by the way, in the bottom of, what, of the screen that you see, there's like a little hand, raise hand. You don't have to do that one. There's also a little chat box, okay? And that's where you can make a comment in that little chat box. It looks like a little speech bubble. So who can relate to me? How many of you are on this right now? Okay. So then you exhaust yourself. You're just like, oh, this is so hard, but I'm going to be okay because once I get to that number, then everything's going to be rainbows and daisies, and then I can relax, and then I can feel good about myself, all right? Because, so then you get to that number. You're like, oh, I've gone there. But then you 
get really curious because you're like, hmm, I'm not, I'm not actually happier. This isn't, I don't know. Like you get, you get excited because you can buy some new clothes and you can buy some different sizes and you know, you're feeling pretty good, but you're like, I'm not really that happy. So then what you do is you celebrate with food, you reward yourself and you kind of ease off the deprivation because you're like, this has not been that much fun. You'd like the idea of being that weight, but it hasn't been that much fun. The process has been really difficult. And then yes, yes, Rosie, of course. And then you go back to your old ways. You're like, well, I'll just have a little bit of this. I'll just have a little bit of that. And you start negotiating. You're like, well, I'll get back on Monday. I know what to do. I already have done it once. I can just, you know, go back to some deprivation for a while and then get myself on track, right? I mean, I did this so many times with those where you weigh yourself and then you put the money in and then it's like, if you lost the weight, then you get part of that money back. And if you didn't lose the weight, then other people get your money. Okay, how many have you done that one? I did that one, like, and I was just like, I'm gonna be like this really mean trainer, right? Like I imagine like a really <laughs> like terrible, brutal coach. My, my niece is on the Canadian water polo team. And so I think about, you know, and I'm a life coach, so like coaching and my kids all play basketball. But can you think about those coaches you've had in the past? How do you have the most success? What are the most successful coaches? Are they the ones that are real jerks? Or do they, are they the ones that like inspire you and help you and guide you, okay? So you are basically being like really mean to yourself, okay? So then you're sabotaged because you, well, you sabotage yourself because you're like, well, because you gain the weight back and then you don't want to do deprivation again. So you say, well, you know what? Let's just take a look at my mom. Let's take a look at my aunties. They're overweight. I guess it's just my DNA. Or you say, ah, you know, I have, I have menopause or I'm perimenopause. I guess I just can't lose weight. Or you say, well, you know, it's, it's really snowy out there. I just can't lose, I can't go exercise. Or COVID, I can't, you know, do exercise programs. Or I can't like, you know, I can't afford a Peloton. A Peloton, that would do it. That would, that would for sure have me losing weight. But I can't afford it, right? So many of you I know can relate to this. So many of you, okay? So then, so we blame, so then we're looking now for the reasons why it's not possible for us. So we're feeding the blame and we're feeding the, the shame of like, I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not capable enough. That's the shame or feeling the feeding the blame of like, well, it's DNA, it's family history, it's menopause. And so now we're completely out of our own authority. And now we've res resigned all hope. We're like, well, I guess we just have some, uh, just have to get some stretchy pants. We just have to keep buying bigger pit sizes. We've just given up. And then, but the problem is eventually after giving up and eating all the things and turning to food for that temporary comfort, then we get to, then again, we go to the doctors or we, you know, it's back to January 1st again. And we're like, oh my goodness. How is that possible that that number's on the scale? And so you go right back again to the hunt. You feel really bad about yourself. So you go back to the hunt. And that emotion is so, you, you feel so bad about yourself that you need other people. Now, I want to tell you, there's reasons why this negative cycle happens. Now, I want you to go right here. Think about this. Think about a quilt. Can you imagine if you went, um, so all of you can imagine, you all do go online shopping or you go to, you know, your local quilt shop and you see this gorgeous quilt and you're like, I really want to do that quilt. And let's say it's um, paper piecing. I am not a paper piecer. I, it's not my thing. I don't, I don't have a desire to spend all the time learning. So it's fine. But let's say I really wanted to. And I have no foundational understanding. So I would have to get Rosie or I would have to get Deb or Lori or whoever and be like, are you good at paper piecing? And you're like, yeah, I'm really good. I'm like, okay, come to my house and you have to, here's a chair and you're just going to tell me 
they're like, no, 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 Tara, I'll just explain it to you. I'll just explain how you, no, I don't want to know. I'm not, I'm not really that smart, but if you just sit here and you just tell me every step of the way, then I'll be able to, uh, it'll be okay. Now, it would be fun to have Ruth come over and, you know, we would have fun doing that probably, but it'd be probably really annoying for both of us because we haven't built the foundation. So what would be really helpful is if she, you know, was, I'm just picking Ruth here. We have two Ruths on here, which is super fun. And Ruth would be sitting beside me and, you know, you could teach me the foundation. You're like, okay, Jared, this is the found, this is the, these are the principles of paper piecing. And then you could sit beside me and you could watch me and you could guide me. And then, you know, in a week you could be like, how's it going to follow up? You can help me out. Okay. But the problem is, first of all, diet is a temporary fix. So the, the, the term is temporary eating plan for like a quick change, but it's not sustainable. And when I talk about the five vital steps, permanent weight loss, I am all about sustainability. That is why I've lost 50 pounds without counting calories and exercising. Although it's nice to exercise, I don't want to rely on it. And I definitely have zero interest in even remotely writing down calories and math and all that stuff. No, no, not at all. Not interested whatsoever. So I'm interested in a sustainable weight loss program. And that's why the life coaching and learning what I did, and I'm going to show you the five vital steps made all the difference for me. All the difference. And not just for me, so many of my clients, because this is how it works. So we've got a crumbled foundation. So the problem is you're, you spend a lot of time. Remember how I talked about thousands of quilters are spending too much time doing the wrong things. You're spending a lot of time researching. You're spending a lot of time looking at other people's uh, progress. You're looking at um, testimonials. You're looking at before and after pictures. You're looking at all of those things. Waste of time. And we're going to talk about how the brain works. That's passive action. We're going to be talking about that. Okay. So you, you spend a lot of time hunting for the right diet, thinking that it's the diet that's going to create the results for you. Well, they do. They do give you temporary results, but just like I just shared with you, they're not sustainable. And then you get to how greed. It's like, no, no, no. Just tell me what to do. But the problem is when you tell someone what to do like paper piecing, so if I come up with some problems, I'm not going to know how, I don't know how, what I'm doing. And I'm completely reliant on Ruth to tell me what to do because I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just like being a robot, right? So that's the how greed. You're like, just tell me how, but that's not going to help sustain you when at 10 o'clock at night, when you get an email from uh, the quilt guild and they say your quilt got rejected. How are you going to, where are you going to get some solace? Where are you going to get some comfort? If you, you're not in your body and you need some quick fix, you just go get some chocolate. Okay. So the other issue is that we then become a, a really good student and we get in that student mode and we're just memorizing steps. Okay. It's just like, just, just tell me what to do. It's like long division. I'm so embarrassed to say this, but I didn't really understand what long division was until I started teaching it. I was like, oh, because I was so focused on being the good student. I'm like, this is what you do. This is what you do. These are the steps. I didn't understand the concept. Yeah. So because I was so focused on being a good student. How many of you do that with weight? Okay. You rely on the experts because you're like, I'm not smart enough. I'm not capable enough. So this is the problem. Now you have no confidence. It feels scary. You don't know the process. You rely on others and you don't know the rules. So quilting would be no fun. Now, the other parts of why negative yo-yo dieting has happened in your life is because you think to have success with weight loss, you need to be motivated, right? You need to put the money in the pot to be like, okay, I'm going to be the biggest loser. But motivation, that's a, this is a bomb, by the way. I'm not a very good writer, drawer. Us. I guess I could have done this. anyways. So this is a bomb. It's a short fuse. Motivation is a very short fuse. It doesn't last very long. Sometimes it can last for like a week. You got to listen to the pump up music, 
maybe go look at yourself and, and give yourself like some real negative talk to keep you motivated, but that is not sustainable. That does not sound like any fun. Okay. So you've been relying on like the good vibes or motivation. So you go listen to another podcast. You guys, I have an amazing podcast and I have people messaging me and say, Dara, it's so great. I feel so good. But that podcast can only last so long to keep you on track. You gotta do it. You, it, it we're, I'm gonna tell, tell you about that in just a moment. And then the other part, there's two more reasons why weight loss cycle, that yo-yo dieting keeps happening. We have an external identity, okay? So that means is we have limited thinking about ourselves. So how, I can't even tell you how many times I, my clients will say, I have always been this way. I've never lost more than 80 pounds. I've never lost more than this. I've never done this. I've never done that. So they limited themselves by looking to the past for evidence of, of change for the future. Aren't you so glad you didn't do that when you someone was teaching you to tie your shoes? You would never have shoelaces you'd always have velcro right so we have limited thinking about ourselves we are really we have really strict rules we're, we feel very like when we're operating out of lack like i'm not good enough then we have we feel like we're just like this is the only way to be happy the only way to be happy is by being thin the only way to be happy is to have a certain number of money and uh, like money in the bank the only way to be happy is to have a certain size of stash like we get really focused on this, like um, just so much on the lack that we don't see, we don't aren't open to possibilities. Okay. We also think we need to earn, prove, or deserve to have certain things in life, which then takes us out of our own authority. Or it puts us like I'm into that real hustle. It's like, I gotta get there. I gotta lose the weight. I gotta, I gotta figure this out. This is really urgent. I, I can't feel good about myself. I can't feel anything positive until I have all these things in a row. Like remember to people talk about ducks in a row. It's like, if, if I don't have everything, like if my house is chaos, I just can't live. Well, then that's a really hard way to live because you miss out on so much fun. Um, when you think that everything has to be a certain way for you to feel a certain way. That's that hustle energy. That's the, um, like very limited thinking and it, puts you on a road that's so narrow. And that's why so many people have anxiety, by the way, because anxiety is going to your worst case scenario and staying there. So when you stay, when you're really focused on your lack and that is putting, putting you into a scarcity mindset and that is not going to help you. Okay. The last part is that math, uh, a weight loss, we think it should go time and effort, the weight should just, da, 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 da. it should just be like very much like this. But I have to tell you, it's not. I lose, I lose three pounds, I gain five pounds in a week. I'll, you know, and I, I have a podcast about that. Gained over 200 pounds in a year. Yeah, and I've lost. Like now that I'm on maintenance, right? All right, so we have misunderstandings. Of how so this is what how do we actually achieve permanent weight loss we need to break the cycle now as i was saying passive action so our brains like like and we have a we have two parts to our brain we have the primitive brain that is really there to help us survive and aren't we so grateful we have been able to the black plague um smallpox like all of these really terrible things that could True, and I mean, right now we're, we're, my kids are home right now because of Omicron, right? We're being really cautious. We're like, okay, we gotta make sure that th things are gonna be safe. And um, we have all these like social distancing and masks and all these different protocols to help us, okay? But, so the lower brain is there to help us survive. And the lower brain wants to have passive action. So it says, um, knowledge brings safety. So it keeps us in that research mode. It keeps us in the hunting mode. It keeps us in thinking that other people can solve everything for us and that we don't have to be a participant in it. Just tell me how. It's like when I got my long arm, my gamble, computerized gamble, and it just seemed really confusing to me. And I, I literally said this to my husband. I'm like, you go spend some time. You go figure it all out. And then you just tell me how it works. 
<laughs> and I actually would like call, I only do use the computer on my gamble during office hours because I wasn't interested in like really understanding how it all worked. I would just tell me what to do. I don't want to, I don't want to troubleshoot. I don't want to, because I wasn't interested in that because I truly just love the free motion clothing. So my heart wasn't into it. So I actually sold it because I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. I'm not, I'm not willing to put the time in because it's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in just creating myself, right? So um, the problem is, <laughs> so I never learned how the computer worked on the gamble. I did a few things, but I really didn't understand it. And so that's the same thing with diet. And so then following diets feels like we're really into it. We're like, yeah, look at me. I'm following that diet. I'm checking off the list. I'm doing the things. But the problem, of course, is you're never interacting with your body. You're not learning about how to take care of your body. You don't learn the weight loss science. You don't learn about emotions. You don't learn why you have urges. You don't learn about buffering. You don't learn about all the things that actually happen in this beautiful body that we have. And in fact, you, you hide from it and you cover yourself with lots of layers and you disconnect your feelings from your body. So a lot of you don't even realize all of a sudden you look at the skill and you're like, how is this possible? How could I weigh this amount? My clothes are all shrinking, tapping to my dryer. Okay. So this we have this false thinking of passive action. So knowledge equals safety. That's what we think. And the problem is that we need to be in productive action. So productive action is telling us that we need to be interacting with the food. We need to look at the number on the scale. We need to decide on purpose what foods we're eating and why we're eating them. We need to understand about sleep. We need to understand about um stress. We need to understand about feelings and our body and where those are. And so when we interact with food and the scale and how it's reacting, then we take the emotion out of the number on the scale. And we're actually able to be a participant saying, oh, I see that when I eat, um, when I have snacks, this is what happens. And when the, if I eat the same thing, but I don't have snacks, this is what happens. Wow. Fascinating the number on the scale is actually a tool to help me. And so with that, we need to be willing to fail. We need to be willing to have the number go up and not beat ourselves up. Have the number go up and be able to get good information from it. We become the greatest scientists. So diet knowledge and obedience does not equal weight loss. It will give us a temporary weight loss, but it does not create sustainable, permanent weight loss. I am all about sustainable, permanent weight loss. Experience equals weight loss. And so if you take anything from this training, I want you to really embody that. Experience is what's gonna give us uh, sustainable weight loss. And when you learn the five vital steps, you're going to be able to see that. Just make sure I'm get safety. Okay. So these are the five <clears throat> vital steps. You first one is weight loss science is simple. So you have to understand, you have to build your foundational knowledge, what it is. And I'm telling you, I used to be a, I used to teach grade five and six. Those are my favorite grades to teach. And so I love, like, I feel like this is right at my alley. I take something that seems like really complicated and I make it super simple. You know that the, there, was a, there was a game show that said, are you as smart as a fifth grader? It's, it's very much like that, okay? So you make your own protocol and you troubleshoot it. I will give you the foundation and then you get to decide. I have women in my program who have lost 50, 80, 90 pounds. I don't know if they eat. They don't have to submit meals to me because they have this foundation. You learn about the brain and body connection. Our brain and our body are connected. And a lot of us, when we hide, 
we are disconnecting it and we are missing the opportunity for growth. We're also missing the hunger cues, all of those things. Okay. And then feelings are the key to the universe. And we take a hundred percent responsibility for them. We take responsibility for our results. We are, we are no longer shaming and blaming. Okay. And then the fifth step is that we create um, and grow our confidence. Now, I feel like I'm just one step. Okay. So, oh, here we go. Yes, I knew that. Okay. So why do the five vital steps work? Well, we only lose weight when we become our own authority. When we understand the foundational principles, you apply them, you fail, you master them. That is how we learn. Eventually, we're going to get it. We have to be willing to do it. Like eventually, I'm going to learn paper piecing. If I really put my mind to it, I would get it. If I really wanted to learn the computer on Gamble, I would get it, right? But I have to be willing to put in the time. I have to be willing to fail. So you take responsibility for your body, your life, and yourself. And you know what? The greatest news is there's only three possible outcomes. Yeah, I knew I, when I wrote this, I did it like um, out of order. There we go. So I'm, I'm just having to yeah, keep track. So there's three things that could happen. You could either lose weight, you could gain weight, or you stay the same. That's it. You have three outcomes, that's all. And then you're the one in control of all of it. And there's only five emotions that are required to achieve these results for permanent weight loss. Do you wanna know what they are? So if you're in charge of all of it, the best things ever. So these are the five emotions and I got these from my business coach. And so anything that you want to really master, this is it, it boils down to your willingness to fail. How much courage are you willing to have to show up for yourself, to be an active participant in your own life, resilience to get back up. So no longer do you wake up in the morning and if the scale goes down or the scale goes up, you're like, yeah, my life is terrible. If the scale goes down, you're like, I guess I'm okay. Give yourself permission. This is not what we're doing anymore. This is, this is because weight loss, the only way you can create your very own rock solid protocol, which by the way, your body's always changing. So you're always working on it is to get data so that you can tweak the data so that you can learn. Okay. So when I first lost weight was the first 30 pounds was very different than the last 20 pounds. And now I go up and down. I fluctuate because I'm, I'm human. And it's very interesting to see what I have to do differently now than I did at the beginning. And it's a big deal. Okay. Resilience to get back up, commitment to the process. Right. We, we, I, when I talked about motivation, we rely on motivation. We need to rely on commitment. Commitment that is like deep, that is like in you. So when, when you do get discouraged or the scale goes up more than you wanted, you have an eight pound weight gain. You're like, I'm committed to this process no matter what. And do you have a desire to be successful? You're like, no, I am going to do it. I have a desire. Like it is in me. I am not going to let my body be a storage unit anymore. I'm going to, I am, I have such a desire to really take care of this body. She has done so much for me. And so that desire is so great. And then you need to be disciplined to do it even when it's difficult. So it's like, oh man, I really want, really want that donut. I really want that coffee cake at the guild meeting. It looks so good. You're like, nope, I'm going to be disciplined in such a like loving, wonderful, kind way. Now these emotions, because I want to let you know there's only one reason we're overweight. Did you know that? There's only one reason. And it's because this is our body. I'm wearing a dress today, so I wanted to you know, do a dress. So food has energy. So calories are just simply an energy, okay? And our body requires energy to function. And we consume 
when we consume more energy than our body can use, our body then stores that energy as fat. That's it. That's why we're overweight. We simply put more food in our mouth than our body needs. That's it. So why consume more energy when then required? So why are we turning to the food? Why are we doing that? Okay. And that's a really good question for you. Because the problem is when you're in how greed, just tell me how, memorize step, and you're a good student, and I just got to get to that number on the scale. I don't care the process. It's not taking into consideration the one, number one, the only reason we're overweight is that we simply put more food in our mouth than our body needs. So if we're not able to look at it, then we're going to be in trouble. So we talked about the typical journey, and now I want you to show you what happens with my, the clients that I work with. So we look at the number on the scale as data. We're like, oh, interesting. That's our body's gravity. We get curious, like, how did this happen? Curiosity is one of my favorite emotions. Then we start experimenting and we create our own protocol. We're like, I'm going to be a scientist. And then we are able to now look at the number on the scale and we're going to start being an active participant in our weight loss. So we are like, oh, when I drink this much water, oh, when I have this much sleep, I tell you, when I started sleeping again, I lost like eight pounds in like a week. It was crazy. Um, acceptance of your body as is. You, like, this, is the, this is the process of what's happening. This is a camera, by the way. So focus on the process, not the end result. So when I say love yourself thin, you start loving yourself at 240 pounds. You start loving yourself at 320 pounds. And at first it's acceptance, right? You're not repulsed anymore. And then there's a level of neutral. And then we go to acceptance. And then we even start like kind of compassionate for ourselves, which means active loving. And so the more that we can do that, the more naturally we want to take care of ourselves. We want to eat. We want to understand the weight loss science. We want to understand what protocol would work best for me in my unique me. And then we are, we're willing to look at that number and say, oh, it's because I am such a people pleaser. And then I get a lot of resentment. And then I don't know how to take care of myself because I've been so focused on taking care of other people. So I just tend to, you know, be to feel like good for myself. Oh, so I'm just not taking care of myself. Oh, that's so interesting, right? You're able to see why this is happening. You're able to break the cycle, all right? So then the, the focus of that is on the process. You're like, I am committed to this 100%. It's gonna take me three years. If it's gonna take me five years, I don't care how long I'm so, I have such a desire to take care of me. It doesn't matter how long, right? We get out of that hustle energy. We get out of that, like, we get into that, like, total love. It's kind of like a baby, right? Like, your baby is like, your baby can cry every night for months and months, and you're still going to take care of that baby because you love that baby. You might not always love doing it. I mean, I've had five babies, right? But you're like, I'm so determined. And even now, my kids are home, and it's like, my daughter just sent me a picture. My son broke one of the drawers in our kitchen. I'm like, I'm not going to kick him out. I love that boy. He's 12. I'm just going to take care of them. Okay. And that's the same thing that happens with us in our bodies and our relationship with ourselves. And so then you're even able to predict what the number on the scale is going to be. It's like a little game I play every morning. 80% of the time, you're like, oh yeah, of course that's the number. And then the last phase is that you actually gain food freedom. Your self-worth is no longer tied to the scale. It is so exciting. Oh, I just got a wave of emotion because that is what so many women want. They don't want that feeling. They don't want to feel like when I've talked about our limited identity, 
They don't want to feel that anymore. They want to feel hope. They want to feel empowered. And it's totally possible. Woo! Did not expect that to come. All right. So remember why these vital steps work is because you become an active participant. You become your own authority. You apply them. You fail. You master. You take 100% responsibility for yourself. And like I said, there's only three outcomes. You either gain weight, you lose weight, or you stay the same. That's it. And you're in charge of that. And it's not frightening anymore. It's not, you don't need to be afraid. Um, okay, so again, you're willing, the, the five emotions, so courage, resilience, commitment, desire, discipline. And then, that's all you need is those five emotions. And remember, emotions are the key to the universe. Now, I want to walk you through this. We're almost done the training, but this is so, now that you've gone through this with me, it's going to be really fun for you to see the contrast, all right? So this was our, that I shared with you at the beginning, the typical journey, okay? So you feel really bad. You look at the scale and you're like, oh, how is this possible? So you go out of a place of like, I'm not good. I'm terrible. What I teach you, a sustainable, permanent weight loss is that your worth is already set. It was already decided the day you were born. Your worth has nothing to do with the number on the scale. It has nothing to do with the wrinkles. It has nothing to do with the size of your house. It has nothing to do with if you have a long arm or not, or if you have a huge clothing stash, or if you, whatever that is. Your worth has nothing to do with that. You don't have to earn, deserve any of it. I promise you. And it's so ingrained in our brains, right? Our whole school system is built that way. Our whole society is built that way. But I want you to know your worth has nothing to do with any of it. Your worth, you are already 100%. And I'm going to just give you like the idea. Can you imagine when did a baby not become worthy anymore? When you see a brand new baby, like when did they lose their worth? When they stepped in a mud puddle? When they spilled, when they broke a drawer, I didn't know our worth is already set. We're on this earth to have a, you know, experience. What's going to make life more fun? For me, weight loss, it's just more fun being thin. I don't have to worry about diabetes. I, it's like more, I have more choices. I'm a thrift. I love shopping at thrift stores. There's more options there. There's more options at regular stores. Right? It's, it is, it's more fun. It's more fun going in a car, putting my seatbelt on. It's more fun getting dressed in the morning because I'm not such a jerk to myself. Like, it's just more fun. My, my, it doesn't change my value or my worth. Okay? So the problem is, the fuel was, I'm terrible, I'm awful, and then you go and look for an answer. But what I'm telling you is that your worth is already set. You don't have to worry about any of that. Now, this research... When you're researching, it's like, I feel convinced that I'm awful. Feeling of like, I'm terrible, I'm awful, I'm not smart. And I want you to know that the, the way that we create a sustainable weight loss is making informed decisions. It's like you take the, when emotions are high, intelligence is low. So you can really start looking at it logically and able to make an informed decision, okay? Now, the third step, is that you turn to an authority to solve all your problems. You're like, here, here, so just, I'm gonna give you my money. You just tell you what to do, I'll just do it. <gasps> I hope it works, right? Rather than, hey, I'm gonna invest this money. I'm gonna invest in my brain. I'm gonna be an active participant. I'm, I am smart enough. I, you know, I have a driver's license or I can run a, that's what I always say. If you can run a sewing machine, you can do this, right? If you can use a rotary cutter, you can do this. Like if you can cut a two and a half inch strip and make a binding, you can lose, you can have sustainable weight loss, permanent weight loss. I promise you, it's just skills. So then you become an active participant, all right? Now, the fourth part is you, deprivation and, and fear is your fuel, right? You're like, I'm just, I don't care about the process. I just want to get to the end. Well, no, we focus, and I, I got this from one of my fellow coaches. She talks about the infinite commitment. When she said that, it just resonated with me so strongly because that is what it takes. It takes this infinite commitment to being 
um, like to create that balance in your life. It means that you're prioritizing yourself. It means you're not burning yourself out from all these diets. It means that your emotional, like your commitment to yourself and your effort, it's like comes from a place of so much love. And the thing I want to share with you is that eventually when you start resolving all of your own issues, those you, you create all these like amazing new habits. You don't have to think about it anymore. Like for me, I don't even think about like yesterday I was cleaning uh, with the boys in the kitchen and there was candy. There was like five or six candy wrappers and they looked so shiny and pretty. And I was like, oh yeah, they're shiny and pretty. I'm not having one. Like it didn't even like occur to me to eat one because I have such good habits now, but those were, those were not my habits before, but because I have an infinite commitment to myself right? I'm so focused on the process of becoming a person. I'm like more of the who rather than the how, like who, how does she, like who, who is the person that doesn't eat the candies on the cupboard? What is she like? And I start becoming like her. Okay. Then we've got the results, but you feel so terrible because you're like, you hustled like crazy. You use deprivation and fear and you get that number on the scale. That's not sustainable. Cause you're like, I don't want to do that again. Right. Some people go through labor like, I don't want to do that again, okay? But for me, I, I had my first baby. I was like, oh, I'm going to do this again because the, the, the result was so amazing. It's like, I don't even care. Like the process, it's fine, right? You have good, you have bad, all of it. So now you learn through Love Yourself Thin, you learn how to have a balanced approach. So we've got the sabotage, like convince yourself, prove yourself that you can't. You're like, yeah, I guess I'm never going to be a thin person right? And what I want to teach, what I teach you is to embrace the human experience. It's like in order to be a well-balanced human, we need to have a 50-50 experience. We need to have, if you, if you don't ever see dark, you'll never see light. If you never have happy, you'll never feel sad. And so I teach you how to embrace that human experience and also having that 50-50 balanced approach. And then you resign with your hope, and I teach you how to be 100% responsible for you. Like, it doesn't matter about your DNA. doesn't matter about COVID. It makes no difference. doesn't even matter if people swear at you or are mean to you or whatever that is. I teach you to be 100% responsible for you. I just taught this yesterday in my uh, program. And they were, uh, uh, one of the ladies, she's been in it uh, three times. Um, now, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you quickly about the lifetime membership. And she said, Dara, this is the crux, being 100% responsible for your, and we have, a, we have a tool, that's what we call it. And she's like, this is what I need to keep working on because she knows that that is totally where her growth is. Um, yeah, here you weren't interested in taking responsibility for yourself. And then eight was to wait to do this again when the number happens. So I teach you how to reflect and evaluate. I, I teach you how to take the emotion out so that you can be, um, you can really see it, okay? So the skills that are created, you understand weight loss, science, you participate in it. You have this foundation, you build a foundation. You build confidence, you recognize and process your emotions. You evaluate your own progress. You learn self-coaching. You learn to see what's going on in your brain. We all know how to lose weight. We all know what the solution is, right? Because there's only one reason we're overweight is because of too much food in our mouth that our body can handle. So I teach you, like it's already here, I teach you how to figure it all out, okay? How to access it, how to, to work through that. So we've got the life coaching school skills that because we are what we think. So if we aren't, 95% of our thoughts are unconscious. So if we aren't, thinking in a way that's serving us, we've got to discover those negative thoughts that are, that are just habitual. We don't even think about it. We don't even realize that they're coming up and then we can use those tools to help you. And then the results that you can, you can expect is that you can have a sustainable, happy weight loss program process for yourself. You can have loving relationships with your body, yourself and others. You're going to be more productive in your creativity. So many of my clients are like, you should call this like getting stuff done, right? You can save money. You can conquer the triple P. So we've got perfectionism, people pleasing, and procrastination. 
You can save time and you can regain time because you are spending so much less time complaining and arguing and feeling um, defenseless and you're gonna be overall happier. So that's our training. I'm so happy you were here for it. So now I'm gonna tell you about how you can create these results for yourself. And it's, I'm really so proud of what I can offer you because it has been, uh, we now have the Love Yourself Thin process, process, but it's a program and it's a lifetime membership. So this is the first time I've been able to offer it as a lifetime membership. And I am thrilled about it because this program, and I, I love that all of these women, I started with one-on-one -on -one coaching and I helped them with that process. And we went into groups and now it's a group program and it's going to be lifetime access. And what happens is so we've got our five vital steps to permanent weight loss. And what I do is I teach those to you inside the program. So when you invest, you get lifetime access, you get into the, excuse me, the website and you get your very own portal. And that portal is a place where you collect, you, you get, you um, have, when every time you watch, these are all on demand, you, you, you get them, well, actually the program starts January 15th. You get them on demand and you, you can learn how these five vital steps, how to create the sustainability. I have some women that have taken my program over and over and over again. And it's like, they, it's like, it's, it's all new once again, because their brain has developed so much. So that when they watch the modules over, they're like, oh my goodness. Oh, they have so much more that they can bring to it because they have so much more understanding of these principles, right? It's just, it's like further and further understanding. So these are the modules that will teach you the five vital steps. And of course they're on demand and you can have them. So when you learn the five vital steps or simple steps, vital steps to permanent weight loss. So you get the modules and the workbook, okay? And the workbook, they're actually all on, they're all digitized, the worksheets, but I have a special bonus for you to act today. And I'm gonna tell you about it um, in just a moment. So those are, um, so they're on demand, it's risk-free, it's lifetime access. And the reason I say it's risk-free is because I have a money back guarantee. If you follow the three guidelines of what you need to do every day for 90 days, I guarantee you'll lose 20 pounds. Money back guarantee, okay? And we'll, we can track it on your tracking system in the, in, in the program. So, it is so amazing. I've never, like, I'm so proud of the results that these women get when they do the work. Okay. And there's so much. And so one of the ways that I want to help you to have that kind of success. So if you go right now to daratomason.com forward slash love dash yourself dash thin forward slash, you can go by right now. If you're Canadian, it will take you to Canadian payout. If you're American, it will take you to American one. Uh, we just need to do the Canadian because I'm Canadian and I get to pay my taxes, which I'm grateful for because it means I have good roads and healthcare. So one of the things that I that I, I put in place to make sure that this guarantee will really help you because I know so many of you have done weight loss in the past. You have put money and effort and time into this. And so I have ask a coach. This is the first time that I've had this um, because in the programs, they were small enough that I could respond. And as this program built, what I, what I realized was in the programs before, we didn't have a record of all the previous questions that people had. And so ask a coach, as you ask the question, and I have, um, I have one of my clients who, she has now lost 32 pounds. She's actually getting married tomorrow. That was one of her goals was to be married. And um, she is now a certified life coach. Of course, she's lost 32 pounds uh, over the past year. And she will be one of my coaches in Ask a Coach. I have another client who is at about 60 pounds, 54 pounds. Um, she's lost and she is now in the process of becoming a life coach, certified at life coach school. And she will also be working for me and working, and so we know it, 
right? We are like in the trenches, we've gone through it all. And so what happens is if you have a question, other people probably do as well. And so what we're gonna have, and as the program grows, this will just grow and grow and grow, but they'll have questions like, I'm going to a party, help. Um, I don't wanna cook three meals each meal because they're trying to cook for other people. Um, I'm so discouraged, I'm annoyed at the scale. How do I know my protocol is working? So other people have had the same questions of you as you, and then we can have a search button that will show you um, that, that answers, okay? And so you can get that coaching and you can come to it over and over and over again. You can have your very own specific question answered. That is so, so beneficial. All right, so another way to help me make sure that your, your $2,000 investment is risk-free is that we have the most amazing, and, and the reason I can say this because I haven't started yet officially, but I've had other Facebook groups and this one will become, and where it's gonna be monitored and there's gonna be prompts and, and by life coaches, we will be able to have, it's just such an amazing environment for you to no longer, so one of, one of the biggest struggles with weight loss is there's so much shame. There's so much feeling of like inadequacy. And so when you can be in a group with other people that have struggled with the same things, I have to tell you how many times my clients have said, I can't believe it. I thought I was the only one. I thought it was me. I thought I was broken. And so um, the having a group for weight loss, first of all, is like amazing. I had no idea it would be as powerful as it was. I, I myself was very reluctant to having a group weight loss program, but when my business coach saw how many clients I had, she's like, you can't keep up. You need to have a group. And I said, okay. So when I saw the power of it, it blew me away. And that is one of the keys of it is you no longer feel alone. You no longer feel broken and you start having hope. It's so encouraging and it's so infectious. So we have different hashtags. We have celebrate, like I went to the party with my sister-in-law and I honored my plan. We have coach, like I'm not sure how to keep up with these modules. I don't seem to have the time. Okay, so like prioritizing ourselves, all of that. And then evaluation, the scale hasn't moved in three days, I'm having trouble. So I walk you through an evaluation process, you show that, and then we can coach you on that, okay? And you can actually show your evaluations in the group. And then that way the coaches can help you with that. So the, we have the Facebook group. We also have the Ask a Coach. Another um, really critical way for you to guarantee your success in this program is by our live weekly, weekly coaching calls. And I love me the coaching calls. So um, every month we actually have three, like talk about like just having your back and getting that support. So every month I go, I take a deep dive into one of the tools that, we're, that we learn. Okay. I see you, I hear you. And I love um, course. I love creating content. I love helping you see things in different ways. And so um, every month we have a different topic that takes a deep dive. So we've, we've done in the past intermittent fasting, uh, menopause and perimenopause. We've done time management, like there's so many. Um, and we have like deep dive into the model, uh, all of that, okay? And so every month we have a new theme and we teach this on the Monday and then we work through that over that month. And then we have two other coaching calls a week to help you so you can bring anything that's happening for you and i will myself or my coaches will coach you on that so again dara thomason forward slash love dash yourself dash then forward slash you can go right now and buy and i can tell you like incentivize you because i know you want to but sometimes it's nice and some of you who are on here like Lori, she's already paid uh, who else? Oh, Vicki, she's already paid. So that's super fun. Um, so some of you have already done it. But for a signing bonus, and they got a bonus, they got to get access to my bonus programs. But today, I'm going to do um, the bonus of So this, these are the work. This is the workbook. Okay, and some of us really like, I'm a paper person, I have a paper planner. 
And I have this that I will send right to your house. No matter where you live, I will send this to you and you will get all of the worksheets already printed, beautiful quality. They're all the holes are bound. I mean, punched and everything. Beautiful quality paper to mail to your house. And then another bonus of signing today is my 12 step perfection recovery program. This was what I used to, when I taught professionally for quilting, I would say that I was the president of the perfection recovery program and inevitably women after the end would say that they also got it. Okay. So, I mean, sorry, they um, wanted that for them. And so I actually did write the 12 step perfection recovery program and I use this all the time. So for those people who already signed, you got your bonus of coming early. And so I will send this digitally to you. I will send them both digitally to you beforehand. How's that sound? Okay. Um, all right. So 20, 20 pounds in 90 days, money back guarantee. So does anyone have any questions about that? I can send to the printer. Absolutely. Okay. So one of the questions that I get is, um, do I take payment plans? So one of the problems with, the, I, I do not. So it's $2,000 and um, you, I would be happy to take, if you want to, I could break up the payment plan into two, um, two different credit cards. I could do that for you. But as far as, like breaking it up monthly, I don't do that, okay? And one of the reasons I do that is because I want you to be all in on you. And I found that the payment plans, when things get a little bit rough, because think about it, right? When we go into the, you invest and go all in and you're not focused on the process, but you're focused on like your hustle, hustle, hustle to get there and things aren't working out and you're still putting more money out, you quit. Now, I have no problem with you failing, but I do have a problem with you quitting because quitting means you, you've just stopped all your process, all your progress. And I'm not interested in that. And I got you. Like when you commit $2,000 and you get in to the lifetime membership, like, you're, like something switches in your brain and it's so helpful. Um, so the beginning date is January 15th. And we are going to have a party. It's a Saturday afternoon. Well, it's depending on where you live. So it's 3, 3 um, p.m. Pacific. And so we will, um, we're going to have a party. We're going to have some like quilting games. You can bring some hand stitching. You can do some binding if you want. And of course, I'm going to have some prizes uh, there. So that's going to be super fun. And then our very first class starts January 17th. And it'll be the Monday morning. And so, and I'm actually going to walk us through the 12 modules. So we have the 12, um, the videos, they're all in the website. Everything is like, it's, it's just getting all the final touches. I have a few more um, edits uh, for the website developers, but we've been working on this since last June. And um, so that classes will start on the 17th. And then uh, you will get access to it on the 15th. So you'll be able to, and that has all my bonus classes, all my pop-up groups, all the, for the, the trainings, all of it. Yeah. Okay. What other questions do you have here? Now, Rosie, I see that you have your hand up, but I think your hand was up just from when we were, I was asking some questions. Okay. So if you have other questions um, or if anyone wants like to be put on screen, if you have questions you wanna talk about. Um, another question that I have is um, often people ask me, oh, where? one thing I wanted to do, I do want to mention is that I do have a form on my website that and uh, we can email it um, to you if you're interested is that um, with the medical system in the USA, so this is new to me because I, uh, and I know that Lori was telling me that Canadians, we do have somewhat of this similar 
in our healthcare, if we have like um, healthcare benefits, but you can, I do have a form that you can fill out and get your doctor to sign um, for, and you can get money towards that. So if you have um, extra, I, I can't even remember what the name is of it. Maybe one of you can remind me, but there are benefits that you can, you can ask for that can help pay for the program. So that is something that I know we already have that form available. You can print that off um, about that. Yeah, other questions? I'm here for you. Do we have in-person events? So the only in-person event that I have is in October. We went last October to um, Lisa Von Jean's Primitive Gatherings, amazing uh, retreat center. And so depending on what's gonna happen with um, the pandemic, I, all of that, I am planning to do a live event in October uh, for my mastermind students. Oh, I should, I should talk about my mastermind. Okay, so my Love Yourself Thin program, of course, is lifetime membership, $2,000. Like, it's so amazing. I'm so excited about it. And um, so there you learn the five vital steps of permanent weight loss, sustainable, loving ways of losing weight and keeping it off for good. Now. I have a mastermind. So what that means is I have women that have gone through my program. So the requirement is you need to have gone through the 12 modules, but they are in this focus. Uh, so my mastermind starts March 1st and the focus is going to be on weight loss maintenance. So as you can see, I've lost the weight and kept it off for over three years. And so I'm gonna be sharing all of the ways that I have been able to accomplish that with five kids, with perimenopause, with, um, you know, all the, the goings on about kids not being at home, my first son left the nest, all of those things. Um, with, a, so I'm going to be sharing the process of permanent weight loss. If you haven't reached your end goal, you're not exempt. You can still come to the mastermind. We are going to keep working on weight loss, because like I said, I mean, I gained 20, 200 pounds in a year, probably if I did the math, because I gained two pounds, I lose two pounds, I gained three pounds, I lose five pounds. Sometimes I'm up five pounds, sometimes I'm down. Like it, I have this kind of window that I go, if I trade, that's very, very normal. I think for so long, especially even for me as a weight loss coach, I'm like, how could I be up five pounds? This is terrible. No, it's human. It's the human experience. It's actually how our bodies work. And I am going to be doing um, a, a different experiment in the mastermind, which will be really fun. And it's because we have a lot of, um, there's a lot of, uh, what's it called again? Like a, a window. Our brain says, I've never been this weight before. I've never gone below it. And so it's like a, the glass ceiling. And so we're going to be um, working on really looking at what our ceilings are for ourselves and going deeper. So that's going to be really fun um, to work on. So that, so if you are interested in the mastermind, it will be $8,000. And as a signing bonus for that, if you sign up before January 15th, you will have the lifetime membership included in that price. After January 15th, the price for the mastermind will remain at 8,000, but you will pay extra for the lifetime membership. It's just my way of thanking you for supporting me in the past in my business. Um, and it's another way to encourage you um, to take action. Like if it's something you really want, then to just do it. Okay, other questions? Amazing. Does anyone have any questions about the 90, 90 day, 20 pounds and 90 day guarantee? So there are three things that you need to do in order to honor that guarantee. And the reason I say that, of course, is that like I talked about, there's only five emotions that we need to lose the weight and keep it off. And to, um, accountability, that's, that's part of it. 
But when I talked about the five emotions, which let's go back to that. Here we go. Willingness to fail, having courage, um, resilience. So getting back up and things aren't going so great. Commitment to the process, desire to be the great, um, to be successful, and then discipline. Okay. So I really want to encourage you all, um, because I want to, I do want to remind, mention about any any diet will work. Like you could eat cabbage soup, you could do keto, like any of those things will work, guaranteed. Like I know it. But what I'm interested in. And why I think you're still here on this call is you're not interested in a short-term solution for a long-term um, condition, right? We always have to eat. Like alcoholics, you don't have to drink alcohol to survive, but we all do have to eat food to survive, to sustain ourselves. And so we are in a way forced to really look at our relationship with food and really look at ourselves in our bodies. And so what I've done in the 20 pounds in 90 days is I've given you some incentive in a loving way to say, hey, listen, I got you. Like, it's like Ruth sitting beside me in paper piecing. She's like, I'm gonna come every day and I'm just gonna be really patient. I'm gonna be really calm. I'm just going to like be just like be right beside you. I got you. Okay. That is what this guarantee is. This Karen guarantee is like me saying, you know what? I understand. I understand that weight loss has been a big trigger for you. We all have our weight loss story. I could tell you mine. And, you know, we all have the heart jerking, all of that. There's been a lot of and in fact, I do want to mention that trauma is when you have a negative experience, you have an experience and you think it's negative. And we look at those experiences and we learn from those, right? That's part of failure. That's part of like being open. That's part of being a participant, an active participant in the process. So I don't think about a negative experience as being traumatic because I think that was an experience that's there to help me. So regardless of we like, we're going to honor your weight loss story, like the, like the, the struggle that you have with weight. In fact, it's one of my, I love, and I have consultations. Oh yeah. I have consultations. If you want to meet with me for 20 minutes to talk, but I love being on these consults with these ladies who are like, they're basically convinced that they could never lose the weight. And I just sit back and I say, I hear you. I don't believe you because I know it's not true. There is not one person that can't have success. I guarantee you. My one, like the lady, um, one of my clients, who uh, was she was completely convinced that she couldn't, and she had doctor after doctor with and a diagnosed with oh, what's it called again? Oh, ah, it's in your and you have a hard time. Like your period is really irregular. Does anyone remember anyone? uh it's like a three three letters oh it's like split my mind but like and headaches like chronic headaches like she was in bed for days and she had all this different kind of pain all of that is gone she's lost over 30 pounds she's completely like her she was there was moments where she couldn't even like put sentences together she was like she couldn't she could only watch like half an hour of tv like every two days because of her headaches and everything, she's a completely different person. Totally different. Doesn't have doesn't have any of those anymore. Because we worked through all of that. Our body holds all of this negative. Um, um, like pain is actually an indicator that there's something wrong. And if we ignore it, then it just gets worse and worse because it's like a baby crying, right? It's like you need to take care of me. You need to take care of me. So. That's why with, even in my program, I've helped women with um, thyroid issues, with um, arthritis, um, all of those, stomach aches, all of that kind of stuff, okay? Because our body and our brain are connected 
And so we need to embrace that. But with weight loss, you just cut it all off because you don't want, you're hiding from your body. You don't want to deal with it. So it's, that's why when I talk about the skills you're going to learn and then the results you're going to create, that's why I can be so confident in saying you will, you will have more time. You will be more productive. You will have better relationships with other people yourself. You will have a lot, a lot of stress because you're not spending all that time with resistance, okay? So the 90 days and 90 pounds, sorry, 20 pounds in 90 days, that, the, there's, there's three simple steps you need to do to do that. All right, any other questions? Has anyone bought? Because you know what? Last time I did this, there was like four people that bought on the website. I mean, on the on this webinar. So has anyone bought already? Because I'd love to shout you out. All right. Any other questions? Um, another question that I get is about when are the classes happening? So many ladies were fixated on, well, what time are you having the classes? So we have our classes scheduled Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific. And then we have a class on Wednesday. Oh, that's nice. Our neighbor is like helping my kids shovel out. That's so nice. Sorry, I was a little distracted. I don't know if you can hear the buzzing of the, of the Bobcat. We've had uh, schools, were, well, they were canceled anyway because of Omicron, but um, my husband phoned us and said, you got to get those boys shoveling because it's, it's going to start raining and then it's going to freeze and then you won't be able to get it. Anyways, sorry, I'm, I am distracted. But so this is, so people get distracted by what times and dates are the coaching calls. There, I brought that together. So they are on, right now we have Mondays at nine Pacific, um, Wednesdays at, I do know this, Wednesdays, just look. Um, yeah, I told you I'm a paper. I'm a paper planner kind of girl. And then Thursdays. Wait, oops. But I do want to let you know that we will listen to you, and we will be accommodating to what works. What? So we've got. Um, oh. Anyways, I can post that, uh, but it doesn't matter because what's going to happen is. We, I think it's, oops, um, yeah, Monday at nine, Wednesday, I think it's at 10, and then I think Thursday afternoon, I think it's at two Pacific, something like that. So there are, uh, but if we want an evening ones, we can, we can be accommodating. So that's a, a question that a lot of people ask. So yes. Oh, there you go. I think that's what it is. All right. What other questions do you have for me? I love it. Oh, look it up. Thank you, Vicki. I do want to just, I do want to really recommend you right now at this moment. You have stayed on for one hour and 20 minutes. And if what I really want to encourage you to just listen to your body, okay? Listen to what your instincts is telling you about this program. Um, if you do have questions, uh, if you want to see testimonials and things like that, I have clients. Um, if you go to my YouTube, oh, there's another thing. If you go to my YouTube uh, channel, um, you can see there's lots of testimonials and things. But I do want to just review this one more time. This has been your typical. And I do want you to ask yourself, where, how many times have you done this? And how often has this happened? And the problem is that you create a rut. And our brain, literally, because we have such a, a high emotion with all of these, such negative emotions, that like imprints on our, in our body. So when we study the brain, and we study about emotions. So emotions are the fuel that enter, like that, that create our ability to act. And so if you are doing this typical like journey of I'm terrible, 
I got to do something. I'm not smart enough. I need to pay someone to tell me what to do. I don't know. I'm not to be trusted. Like I don't need to know the how I just, just tell me what to do, but then we are human, right? And we have human experiences. And so we have problems and we don't know how to solve the problem. And we're not so focused on the process. We're just like, just tell me like memorized, right? Being a good student. And then you don't solve for the problem. You turn to the food and then you gain the weight back. And then you convince yourself that you're not good enough. And then you just do that again. So I want to encourage you to really look at this list and decide for yourself, what kind of results do you want to have in your own life? And what is it going to take to stop the cycle? This morning, I read a little quote that said, old keys don't open new doors. And this is a new key for you. And this key will open the door to create the kind of life that you want. And so I just invite you to take action, to go right now, darathomason.com forward slash love dash yourself dash thin forward slash com and pay right now. Like it is like in you to do this and just go and do it. And then you can show up for yourself in a way where your worth is already set. You have informed decisions. You are an active participant. You focus on the process. You have infinite commitment. You are now having a balanced approach. You embrace your human condition. You are 100% responsible for yourself. You've now gotten rid of the blame shame trap that just keeps us spiraling down and down. And then you learn truly how to reflect and evaluate and create all your own results. So I invite you to go and sign up now. You will not regret it. It is, it is, there is zero risk to doing this. The only risk is if you don't do it, you'll just continue to keep the cycle going. And that does have risk. It does increase your chances of diabetes. It increases your chance of needing a knee and hip replacements because um, extra weight puts so much extra strain on you. It also risks your ability to have more loving relationships with people. It risks your ability to um, truly have the kind of life that you want. All right, Are there are no other questions. So much fun to spend this time with you. I am doing this training next Thursday twice. I'm gonna do it same time next Thursday, same training, and then Thursday night. I would invite you to come again to it. I also invite you, you I know you will get more stuff out of it um, and invite your friends, let them know. Like weight loss for quilters, let's like change the way that we do things and that we can have more energy and more um, mental and physical energy to get all those quilts done. Oh, and just as an added bonus that I forgot, in the 12 step perfection recovery program, I do have an amazing, uh, you got it, you got to get this. Um, it's a UFO challenge. So I have like a time capture. You can write down all of the unfinished projects. It's so amazing. I have like a whole questionnaire of going through like deciding on purpose, like what you're going to do. Um, and that's, that's fabulous. And it, you do have the digital copy and I could, if when you sign right now, I could even send it to you. And um, you can record all of that and you can just get going on that declutter and work through that. All right, there's no other questions. It has been an absolute thrill to spend the last hour and a half with you. You're amazing, congratulate yourself. Go and pay. If you haven't paid already, you just need to go and pay. You're gonna love it. You're not gonna regret it. All right, take care everyone. Oh, and if you wanna consult with me, 20 minutes, um, uh, the, you, the email that you received for this training has the consult. And if you can't find it, you just simply email support at darathomason.com and we will send you the link. All right. Take care, everyone.